It's story time. So last December, I tried to send a parcel of embroidery to a friend of mine overseas for the very first time. I messaged that person almost immediately letting them know, hey, I'm sending this up. This parcel in particular included a lot of hand-stitched embroidery by yours truly. Some of it was some of my best work. Weeks went by, and my friend still had not gotten that parcel. I confirmed with a bunch of friends of mine who have had the similar issue. And many of them have had issues where their package was either lost, delayed for months on end, or sent back to them. I started getting paranoid. I even had a stress dream about it. I had dreamt that someone had returned the package to me, but all of the items were damaged or stolen. Thankfully, at the time, I was introduced to a friend who works on OnPost. This blessed person was able to help me track down that parcel. It had not even made it past customs. And it was on its way back to me. After weeks of stress and uncertainty. This beautiful friend was able to help me get a second parcel to its destination. And actually get it through customs. I'm going to embroider her something in payment for this debt. And just last week, guess what was waiting for me when I got home? My first parcel! I was so relieved that nothing was stolen or damaged, like in my stress dream. <laughs> I am sending this parcel out again, because I want this person to get their embroidery. Special thanks to my friends on here who were so helpful and supportive in this matter. And customs, get your shit together. You don't know if someone could be sending something to their family members overseas, and you're disregarding it because it's not worth $50 or more? Oh yeah, did I forget to mention? That's a new policy, apparently. And I valued my first parcel at only $50, which is like 46 euros. Thank you for listening to my rant. I hope you're having a great day. Stay safe.